Hi, good morning. My name is Sanjay Mahapatra, editor of Enterprise Channels Magazine. With me is Mr. Basar, who heads uh, MEA operation for Unify. Uh, I'm trying to understand from him about uh, UC market as a whole in this region. So also, what is the strategy of Unify? Uh, very recently, Unify changed its strategy from being direct to indirect. Uh, Mr. Basar, uh, you being very senior in this market, uh, how do you find, what is your reading of the uh, unified communication market in this region? <coughs> okay, well, uh, Unify, the unified communication market in the Middle East is actually huge. Okay, we estimate it to be above $500 million annually. Uh, globally, we have uh, enjoyed the number one IP telephony market share in Germany, number two worldwide. However, in the Middle East, we uh, Unify, uh, which is uh, Enterprise Siemens Communications, uh, Siemens Enterprise Communications before, uh, didn't really have the appropriate market share before. So uh, we are now rolling out a global transition from directly doing business into an indirect, purely channel-driven business model. As we have realized, this is the only way for us to scale and acquire that leading market share across all markets, including the Middle East. So uh, this is the roots of our transition in terms of uh, a channel strategy. Here in the Middle East, we, are, we started rolling out this new unified uh, partners program, which was launched at the beginning of uh, fiscal year 2015. And uh, we have identified, uh, because we're going to go into a multi-tier business mo uh, model, which is involves a vendor, value-added distributors, and the value-added resellers. So we were on a, a search uh, task for uh, our, uh, let's call it next generation value-added distributor partners. So we have identified uh, two whom we have signed around the timing of Jitex. So we are proud to sign up uh, both Mindware and uh, Oxygen Technologies as, as our uh, new value added distribution. In addition to Tech Access, who are mainly focusing on the market in Saudi Arabia. And th this this is really we see it as uh, as a prerequisite for. Uh, going into a larger channel network because you need to provide that ease of doing business vehicle for the channel and partners to fulfill their uh, order requirements and logistical requirements. So uh, that's in a nutshell where we are today. All right. Now, when you change your strategy from direct to indirect, there might be some reshuffle within the manpower you had. Uh, those people who are who are addressing the direct market, uh, they they may not be so relevant for in, uh, addressing the indirect market. Uh, that means the channel market. So, how has been the changes uh, underneath uh, the organization? Okay. Well, I think uh, Unify, as any other vendor, we want to focus on our core business which is innovation okay so we want to focus on innovation we want to focus on research research and development and we want to keep introducing uh, new technologies in the field of unified communications to the marketplace and we want to offload okay all the back office all the logistical uh, you know uh, 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 resource, uh, uh, you know, he uh, heavy kind of uh, kind of an operation to our to our dis uh, to our distributors. So offloading, offloading these uh, logistical resources and keeping the bare minimum, you know, to really just fulfill the demand, uh, will uh, make us divert cash and uh, internal resources where we should really be focusing on okay our role is to coming from uh, a Siemens DNA uh, roots our main focus should be really to introduce leading edge technologies to the market not to improve uh, stocking and uh, and invoicing and so on for that you have value-added distributors who are really uh, geared up for for such kind of a, of a business 
Okay, from the standpoint of the technology, uh, Unify is known to bring in innovations or uh, bring in uh, new licenses, new pro products continuously. So uh, looking at the market opportunity, looking at the market spread, uh, differentiated uh, user, uh, user requirement, uh, uh, the, the physical form factor is actually moving to the cloud. The entire data center is moving to the cloud. So, so, so the connecting uh, with the people, connecting with uh, uh, you know organizations are also becoming cloud-based. What are the technological advances that you have made, or what are the uh, new products or new solutions that you have brought in in this time period to address uh, emerging market? Well, if probably I, I wouldn't call it a roadmap, but let me just share with you some of the areas where we are heading to. First of all, we realize the importance of cloud. Uh, however, we will we will keep investing and developing our uh, flagship OpenScape uh, platform, which caters for uh, SME uh, using our OpenScape business and the OpenScape uh, Enterprise Express. So these are really uh, UC solutions catering for small to medium and mid-market customers up to for in the neighborhood of uh, 1,000 users. Uh, in parallel, we will keep focusing also on the OpenScape 4000, which is really uh, by, by all means the, the market leader in that space because it scales up to uh, tens of thousands of users. And we have successfully implemented and deployed a huge installations in the Middle East involving uh, 50, 60, 70,000 users and, 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 and above. Uh, and this OpenScape 4000 uh, 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 delivers that secured voice communications which is required by many large enterprises where security is really an issue while putting uh, uh, valuable uh, asset which is the voice on the IP. So if you want to put voice on the IP, you have to be sure that it is secured. Now, going back to your question about the cloud, okay? Unify is also a pioneer in that space. We were the first to introduce our collaboration software circuit on the cloud. So circuit is, is a state-of-the-art collaboration tool that supports uh, Android-based, iOS-based uh, uh, mobile, uh, mobile and portable devices uh, where employees, partners, students, doctors, etc. can really collaborate on, on our UC pl uh, platform on the cloud, share data, share files, exchange ideas, have visual, uh, virtual uh, sessions where they can really collaborate and this can be really rolled out either on a public cloud or on a, a private cloud. Uh, addressing the different needs out there in the market. For some customers, uh, using such an application on a public cloud is not an issue, while for some customers, having such kind of, a, of, of an infrastructure running on the cloud, on a, on a private cloud, it's really an issue where they have compliance and uh, regulatory adherences they have to take into consideration. Many uh, clients, such as banks, or sensitive uh, government organizations, they have restrictions on what kind of data, including voice, that can be really stored and logged outside the, uh, the boundaries of, of the country. So for such kind of, 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 of customers, we give them the ability to roll out the circuit uh, collaboration tool on a private cloud. And yet, they can also mix and match between a private and the public cloud, depending on which customer or employee is accessing the, the tool uh, or, uh, or what kind of a communication is being done on uh, using it. Yeah. All right. Uh, I know that uh, Unify uh, solutions are pretty robust, uh, pretty, pretty adaptive to uh, uh, most of the vertical markets. but. Uh, which are the vertical markets you are heading, uh, you are targeting really? Because some uh, vendors in your comp uh, in our competition they um, have got uh, preferences in terms of the vertical addressability. 
Well, I think, I think this is, Sanjay, what uh, distinguishes uh, Unify from other UC players out there in the market. Okay, Unify has packaged its UC portfolio into different uh, uh, business uh, uh, applic ap applications uh, focused towards uh, some verticals out there. So we have a solution called OpenScape uh, Health Connect, High Med, which is uh, focused on the healthcare uh, customers. We have a solution called OpenScape Expert. Okay, this is focused on the BFSI banking and financial services institutions. We have a, a solution uh, focused on education, on government. So we have utilized our leading edge UC pro uh, products and technologies into vertically focused solutions. So just to give you an example, for example, on an, on an educational uh, uh, sector customer, uh, you can deploy a circuit, for example, on a private cloud for that university where faculty members and students can collaborate with each other even outside outside the standard uh, working hours of the university have uh, uh, virtual sessions where they can really follow up on uh, research and development exchange files exchange data uh, submit uh, papers and documents uh, share documents with each other in a very secured manner uh, similar applications also exist in, in healthcare, where we have the high med uh, that can sit in the, the high med kit, okay, which is a, a UC based kit that can sit in the patient room, okay, where the patient can, using our UC technology, communicate, okay, and have uh, that better experience and superb experience within his stay at the hospital. Okay, where we where he can uh, uh, interact with uh, uh, with the catering, food and beverage inside the in, inside the hospital, request the kind of food that he wants. He can have access to the inside hospital entertainment system uh, while the doctor is visiting, using a secured access to that high med kit. This doctor can really access the patient file access laboratory results, x-rays, share them with other doctors, get opinion on the spot, maybe reach out using our tools to a doctor in another location to get immediate medical expertise for that particular case. So as you can see, these are vertically focused business applications using our core UC technology to really improve uh, uh, performance, productivity, and customer satisfaction and experience within the various uh, verticals we are, we, are, we are addressing. From the geographic or country specific now, the new countries are opening up. For example, Iran, Iran is becoming a very attractive market for yeah. many people. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. All of a sudden people have started moving into Iran market. But other side, Syria is another market which is blocking Syria and nearby uh, you know, uh, countries. So uh, uh, it's becoming disproportionate or, you know, uh, balance is getting disturbed here. So uh, I understand most of the, including you also, uh, focusing on this market, GCC and, uh, you know, this part of the uh, market. But you know, as far as Iran and that uh, market is concerned, that's becoming a little bit challenging. Yeah. So what's your strategy uh, around that? Yeah. yeah. <coughs> well, a, a vendor that complies with the... Uh, with uh, you know uh, trade regulations and policies, and uh, we adhere to uh, you know uh, 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 compliance issues, which countries you can trade and which countries you cannot trade with. We respect embargo regulations, and uh, yet saying that uh, we appreciate that uh, uh, Iran it's it's a huge market. Uh, it has been under embargo for uh, uh, almost three decades, okay? And once the embargo is uplifted, okay, and we are notified through the proper channel that embargo is uplifted and we can start doing business in that uh, market, uh, we will definitely add a lot of value. 
and I see a huge potential in there. As I told you, uh, it, it has been it has been uh, closed for so many years. There, there needs to be investment in infrastructure, in uh, raising technology awareness in the market. Uh, we have been approached by multiple entities seeking to do business, and the message was clear from our side. Uh, still, the situation is not changed. Iran is still under embargo. But as I told you, once we are officially notified that the situation has changed, we will, we will be swift and uh, very dynamic into approaching the market and uh, rolling out our solutions over there. Now, uh, the second part is that uh, Channel is now uh, has become uh, principal route to market for Unify. Mm -hmm. Now let us understand from Mr. Basar as to what is the st strategy as far as uh, channel uh, partners are concerned or value added distribution uh, uh, engagements are concerned, what kind of program uh, the company is bringing in, um, at least the partner programs? Yeah, well, uh, uh, there is no going back from our side in terms of uh, how we want to do business. It's channel and channel and channel. There is no going back and we want to empower our channel. Uh, our unified partners program is really very rich. Uh, it has a lot of incentives for our partners. Uh, basically, if I may summarize it, uh, the more the partner invests, the more he will get back in return. We have very lucrative incentive program. Uh, the higher the partner uh, goes up the ladder in terms of uh, his partnership level, in terms of uh, certification, the more rebates they will get, the more uh, joint uh, marketing activities uh, they will get, etc. So the higher discount they will get, so they will enjoy more more margins as they do the unified business. So we really keep a very uh, close eye on that. We want to preserve any investment that the partner makes. So the more they invest, the more they will be rewarded. As we increase our channel network in the market, we have also rolled out a very efficient and uh, let's call it a bulletproof deal registration uh, mechanism where partners who all have access to our partners portal can log in uh, projects, opportunities they are working on so that they so they can really have that protection on the business that, uh, that, uh, that uh, they are doing. Also another aspect is uh, empowering the channel. Okay, if you want to pull back from direct and you want to go into an indirect, you want to make sure that your channel is really enabled and empowered to go and do business in terms of sizing the right solution, uh, implementing the right solution, supporting the right solution. So in that regard, we are bringing the unified training from Germany to the Middle East. Before that, partners used to send their trainees to Germany, which was time consuming and costly. Still, whoever wants to do that, he can continue doing it. But to make it more affordable, we are also during the JITEX, we have signed and we are, we have, we are announcing our partnership with a leading uh, training center in the region, Fastlane. Okay, so Fastlane is, uh, is becoming our authorized training center in the Middle East. Uh, they will be rolling out official trainings starting with Dubai and then we will uh, extend that into Saudi, Cairo and elsewhere. So uh, we are not just incentivizing our, our partners, we are also enabling them and empowering them to feel comfortable going and talk about Unify and do the Unify business. In terms of uh, a channel, uh, to shed some more light on that, our the channel partnerships uh, starts with the authorization. So any partner can really become an authorized partner by doing uh, the necessary, by registering online, doing the necessary sales training and technical sales training. So by doing these two trainings, they can move into the authorized level. Then we have the professional level, which uh, requires certain set of trainings and certifications. After that, the partner can move into what is called a master one and a master two kind of partnerships. So the higher you go up the ladder, the more privileges you will get, the more access to unify resources you will have, the more rebates you will get. 
those distributor partners that you have signed in are not uh, uh, having uh, any any competition platform if i'm not wrong so uh, that one way that is good another way that is also bad so experience uh, is something which they may not bring in but good is that uh, they are virgin in that their thoughts they are very clear in their thoughts now right that's uh, which is which is you know in total uh, uh, win win situation for both the companies unify and uh, and the uh, you know, distributor partners be in mindware or uh, uh, you know the other company oxygen and oxygen tech access, tech ac access. Yeah. so uh, so uh, fr it's basically boiling down on the revenue part on the margin part to some what extent uh, unify is differentiating its uh, margin opportunity compared to its competition compared to the competition i think our, i think our unified partners uh, unified partners program including that distribution element has been really uh, developed taking into consideration competition out there in the market so if you look at the compet at, at our competitors i think uh, business generated by our distributors will make them enjoy more margins than working with the competition we we respect a lot okay the non-fulfillment business okay so the more business is really brought over to the table by the distributors okay and where they really engage their resources where they really engage their teams into doing proof of concepts and they really help drive the sales cycle, the more margins they will enjoy to justify that investment that they have made. So uh, I think that element is, uh, is really very well respected, very well taken care of. And we will, you know, our principal goal is for us to have uh, a real win-win business environment where our value added partners will do business and have healthy margins. Our distribution will do a healthy business as well, so that, and the business is also meaningful for us as a, as a vendor, so that every party keeps investing into the business cycle. If my distributor, if my partner, they don't enjoy the right level of margin, they will stop having that investment in my in in in, in my business. Uh, going to the, to the distributors part, and I'm really happy to say that. Uh, we are very optimistic about these relationships. I was really uh, moved by how much each of them is really eager to uh, uh, recruit, train, dedicated resources to look after the Unify uh, product line, whether it is uh, product management, channel sales, uh, technical resources. I can assure you each one of them is really uh, uh, in, in, into that process to provide the right level of support for our partners in the market. All right, thank you very much. You have been very nice answering all my questions.